Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's video because today I'm going to be dyeing my hair black. So I got two boxes of black hair dye because whenever I dye my hair, I always need two boxes of hair dye. One box is never enough. I just have a lot of hair. So as you guys can see, my hair is already dark, but it is not black. It's like brownish and there's also some auburn highlights that I have naturally. And then also in the summer, for some reason, like the bottom of my hair can sometimes even get a little bit blonde. Like I don't wanna say completely blonde because I feel like that's just pushing it, but it does get really, really light. I just ordered these from Amazon and this is in bright black. So this is the L'Oreal Feria hair color. Um, and again, I ordered two boxes and then I also got this mixing bowl for the hair color. And then I got three of these brushes to just easily apply it into my hair. And then finally, I also got these hair clips, these butterfly hair clips to just put my hair up when I'm dyeing my hair. So in the past, I have dyed my hair a few times. When I was in middle school and high school, I did dye my hair black like on and off, um, maybe like once a year and then it would just fade out. And then also my freshman year of college, I bleached the very bottom of my hair and I was going for more of this like ombre look but it just looked horrible. It was literally like the bottom half of my hair was bleach blonde and then the top was just regular brown and then the ends of my hair were completely dead. So I'm never doing that again, but today we're going to be dyeing my hair black. So I'm really interested to see how it's gonna come out. I might just continue to do this from now on if I really like the results. Of course, I have dyed my hair black in the past, but it just has been so long. I really can't remember like what, I just can't remember what it looks like on me and I don't know, we'll see how it comes out. decided to just not use the brushes because the brushes it's just like I can't see what I'm doing so I can't even see what I'm brushing in my hair it's just easier for me to do it with my hands <laughs> I don't even care about this shirt, so I'm just gonna keep doing this without the towel. Now in the past, when I used to dye my hair, I always noticed that I would like miss the ends. And I feel like that's because I focus so heavily on the roots of my hair. So I'm just gonna try to get the ends a little bit more. Oh, I love it already. Maybe I won't have to use a second bottle, which would be really surprising. Although I'm thinking about it now, I feel like maybe when I used to dye my hair, I just had much longer hair, so that's why I needed multiple bottles. Maybe now that my hair isn't as long as it used to be, I don't need to use as much, I guess. noticing that I'm starting to color the bathroom a little bit the counter is like turning blue which is funny because like the counter in my parents house back when I used to dye my hair a lot it's also still stained just because I never took it out I never tried to take the color out so if you guys have any suggestions although I know I can just google it of how to take color out of like countertops and stuff like hair dye just let me know although yes I can probably just google it 
If you guys have any experience firsthand, just let me know. excited for black hair guys this is gonna be so amazing so as you guys can see I have some like pretty intense baby hairs and I have to make sure to try to get those I just have so much hair like I have a ridiculous amount of hair and I don't think that I'm gonna need to use another box of hair dye so I will just save that other box for the next time that I dye my hair black. the box says I will come and rinse it off although I'm kind of confused as to how that works because I know I've been doing this for 20 minutes now the bottom of my hair definitely is going to be having hair dye for longer than 25 minutes so I don't know okay anyway 25 minutes and then I will rinse it out also I'm sure you guys are aware of this like I'm just a hair color new hair coloring new so this is like a tip that I find helpful but if you guys have some like micellar water this is actually doing a pretty good job at getting the hair dye like off of my skin. Okay, so 25 minutes is up and I'm about to wash this out. I know this is about to be super messy. I also have Feria conditioner. So we will see how this goes. And I know it's going to be super messy because this is dark. It's probably going to take me a really long time to get this out. But okay, I think that's it. Okay, let's get started. I think I got all of it out of my hair. Now I'm going to use the conditioner. And I feel like that's a lot, but oh well. So I actually ordered the Bedhead Shampoo and Conditioner for Color Treated Hair. That will be coming in the mail tomorrow. And also I know that you're, when you have colored hair, you're supposed to use cold water to wash it, which is gonna be really hard for me because I really like taking hot showers, but I'll see how much I can do with the cold water. All right, so the conditioner is in my hair now and I'm gonna finish up in the shower just like wash my face and stuff and I'm gonna leave this in my hair for about five minutes and when I'm done in the shower I'll come back and show you guys what my hair looks like wet having been dyed and then after that I'm just gonna blow dry and straighten it and show you guys what it looks like fully done but already I'm liking the results it looks really dark and I can still see I have some blue I'll need to wash that out in the shower a little bit more but I will be right back guys so this is what my hair looks like after having used the conditioner and rinsing out the hair dye so I've noticed that the color is clearly evenly dispersed throughout my hair which makes me very happy because back in the day when I used to dye my hair I would just literally take my entire head of hair and just like lather the hair dye in it which I know is really cringy and not how you're supposed to do it at all but this time I sectioned it off as you guys saw and I dyed it in like divided sections and that definitely helped to disperse the color throughout my hair evenly so as I'm looking at it in the mirror I can see that I don't really see any parts of my hair that look like I missed it which is amazing and actually the first time that that's ever happened to me the only thing is that I can clearly visibly see that I did not rinse the dye all the way out from my scalp my scalp like almost looks blue so I will just zoom in to show you guys so there you can see my scalp I'll just like go down the middle I don't know if you'll be able to see it here yeah you can so there 
it's still blue. I actually haven't dyed my hair in so long. I don't remember if that's normal. And I do see one little part right here that I missed. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. So I'm gonna blow dry and straighten my hair and then I will come back and show you guys what my hair looks like straight with makeup on and a cute shirt so you guys can see the full look. All right guys, so this is what my hair looks like now. I love it. I it's kind of not at the end because I really need to get a hair cut. Well, actually just a trim because I'm actually trying to grow it out. I really, really like it. So let me know what you guys think. I just blow dried and straightened it. And I feel like every single time, I can't stop brushing it because I just really like it. I feel like every single time that I dye my hair black, I don't know if it's black specifically or if it's just when you dye your hair, period. After I use that conditioner and after I dye it, my hair seriously feels so smooth. I feel like I don't have any frizzies or any flyaways whatsoever and it just feels so amazingly smooth. Also, one thing that I really like about the black hair dye is that it gives my hair like a little bit of extra shine, which I really, really like. So, this is what it looks like. And again, as I said previously, I feel like I did a really good job at dyeing my hair and I didn't even use a full bottle, which is crazy. So I think it definitely is evenly distributed throughout my hair, although there are a few parts underneath here that I think I could have gotten a little bit better. I feel like overall it just looks very even and I don't think that I missed many parts at all. I will link all of the products that I used in this video, like the hair dye. I'm gonna be trying out the Bedhead Shampoo and Conditioner for color treated hair, so I will link that down below as well. Hopefully that works well for my hair. Usually black hair dye lasts in my hair for about two months before it starts to like completely wear away. So I'm hoping that now that I don't wash my hair as often as I used to, it will last a little bit longer. And I think I might decrease the frequency with which I wash my hair to maybe once every two days or once every three days we'll see how that goes but yes i am very pleased with the results i think that it looks really good and i love how super shiny it is so let me just give you a 360 view really quick before i end this video as you guys can see it's just super flowy oh my gosh i'm just i love it i love it i love it i'm so happy with the results and i feel like this will look really good with like a red or warm toned outfit maybe like a red shirt or right now I'm wearing these red rose earrings which are from Target and they're super cute but I feel like if you dye your hair black it looks really really good if you wear like reds or just warm tones because the contrast with the hair just looks amazing so that's what I'm planning on doing for my look with the red hair so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video again let me know what you think of my results down below I love all of you and I will talk to you guys next time <music>